Hey everybody! Hey everybody! Welcome to Fake Trucking, Real Talking. We're man down today because I'm a sad to announce Dustin is no longer with us. He uh, died. <laughs> we took his stuff. <laughs> but yeah. Cuddles is steer still here for everybody. Yeah, Dustin's dead, everybody. I'm the new apprentice trucker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what buttons do. <laughs> how do you go? I know how you go back into if, debt. If only Dustin was here <laughs> to tell us how to drive the truck. Also, Dustin did us the favor of running the truck completely out of gas before dying. Is that why it's not going? Yes. <laughs> well, no. Maybe? I don't know. Okay, that's that's the wheel. Dustin, this is the part where you talk. No, no, no. I'm happier with y'all running yourselves into the ground. I left the parking brake on. Oh, my God! How I do I turn off my parts from the grave? <laughs> Dustin, you became a truck! What happened? See, we Let go of my steering wheel, David. No. I don't like it when you touch me that way. <laughs> <laughs> we have the ghost of Dustin with us. Yeah, and if you thought I drove the load bringer into the ground on repairs, wait until David's done. Dustin, what is the afterlife oh, like? Jesus. And we don't even have what, any money. What hap what's happening in the back there? No, stop that. Uh, You're disconnecting the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> the afterlife is pretty shitty. I'll tell you that now. Stay alive as long as possible. So David got to drive for all the five seconds. Well, tell me how to do things. Right trigger goes. It didn't earlier. Well, it does now. How did it I had not? the parking brake on, yeah, like I said. How okay. do I turn on and off the parking brake? Down on the D-pad, but how about you just never touch that? <laughs> yeah, don't Except use that. Except you'll have to when it becomes night, night, because you get tickets for not having your headlights on. See? I knew it. I knew it. I, I shouldn't have told him the button, because then he hit it. No, that was right. Or is down the... Undo <laughs> it's left for the parking brake, up for the headlights, down for the bright lights, Left on the D-pad, or the no, right, right for your parking brake on the D-pad. Left controls your windshield wipers. Touch me, David. Touch my trunk. He is touching your trunk. Why am I so slow? Ooh, yeah. I need to go faster. This is the worst version of Cruising USA ever. <laughs> All right, so Dustin, tell the good viewers how you came to be dead and now inside this truck. Well. I was cruising home one night from David's house. Wait. Am I going the wrong way on this road? No. Probably. I don't know. See see how that car's driving that way? You're driving the correct way. No, but, like, there's no yellow line, which makes me think this is well, just... Well, no, you're supposed to be on the red line, but the question is which direction on the red line are you Yeah, going? like, what's going on here? This is not... Then bring up the map. How do I bring up the map? You should slow down, David. Is the left trigger the no, brake? No, you're, go you're going the right way. You have a turn coming up. Yeah, left trigger. <laughs> you're brake. going entirely too fast. <laughs> Where's the? I can't read those tiny. What's a kilometer? This is bullshit. <laughs> Metrics. This was a right. part of the well, deal. Keep. Hey, David. Welcome to my hell. Do I go right? Yeah, you have a right coming up. Okay. All right. So, how, how, wh why are you not here? Um. Hang on. Getting trouble. There's a lot of shrimp in heaven, or wherever the hell I am. <laughs> I haven't decided what afterlife I'm in yet. You took that turn too sharp. Your trailer's stuck. What? There you go. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> anyway, I was cruising home after hanging out with a night with David and Scotty and other people. Oh, this, that's happened then? Yeah, that happened that night, dude. That sucks. I was on my way home. Um, cruising up the roads. I live in the middle of the woods. Turns the roads are 45 miles per hour, surrounded by woods, no street lights, switchback turn, yada yada yada. In short, a lot of good opportunities to hit animals. And there's an embankment overlooking the road on one of the turns. So as I'm cruising around it, a deer leaps from the top of the embankment and lands squarely in front of my car. That deer got thumped. That deer ate shit. So in the middle of the night, you dragged a deer out into the wood, out of the woods, and thumped it. Did you thump I it pretty it. hard? I thumped it pretty hard, like forty-five mile per hour thump. Yeah. Well, apparently that angered the the deer god, 
And he in turn said, you need to die. <laughs> <laughs> I suck at this game. What happened? Speed up. <laughs> Who doesn't invert their controls? This is bullshit. But he said I can make a deal, and if I can, the beaver god can get David, he'll let me live again. No. Nope. Keep those beavers away from me, Dustin. They want vengeance for the last two. Nope. <laughs> beaver justice is cruel. Nope. Beaver justice is coming. Look, the bear already got me back. Right turn, right turn, right turn, what? right you turn. Right you no! <laughs> <laughs> How do I reverse? I heard that. Left trigger. Three point turn in a truck. Oh, come on. Uh, there's, no. <laughs> I can't believe you made that. Yeah, I can't believe I made that either. Man, I can't believe what little bit dead I'm going to have to dig us out of on that one. He's actually making it there. And he hasn't even filled up yet. How does one fill up? Wait, do I go right here? Uh, yeah, it's a right right here. Yeah, the night is young. I see my standing on the way. They're driving on the wrong side of the road. It's confusing. <laughs> is this it? Am I here? Yeah, that's it. You gotta go in there, and then you gotta back the trailer up. Oh shit. Where or, do I back yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, welcome to the hard like part. Like an arrow? Or you can just do what Dustin never did, and just roll up, and you can hit a button to cheat, and just automatically dock. No, there's no cheating on this podcast. Exactly. So I have to back Except up. Except for the many, yeah, many you times have to you use the trailer to into that white square. Man, you notice every lumber yard looks the exact same in this game. Yeah, there's a lot of the things that look the exact same. Yeah. Except for the load bringer, there's only one. <laughs> oh. It is a one of a kind. Oh, um, like why isn't that forklift drivable? They should have, like, bonus unlockable vehicles in this. Oh man, we have a truck full of forklifts. Did it! <laughs> <laughs> Backing up is hard, you guys. How did you imagine that to work? <laughs> <laughs> David, you're not a good driver. This way. This way. But less. Hang up with a truck. And go forward now. Wait, how do I? It, 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 the other way. Turn left now. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> you do, you have arrived you at do your realize you eventually need to straighten out, correct? Yes. Ah, uh, backseat. It is like so much harder not being able to see it. That's the really crappy part. How do I? No, because I'm getting all confused with directions in my in my brain. No, but the other. No, stop it. Oh my god, you hit your own truck! <laughs> What's the button to do this? <laughs> no, there's no cheating. Don't you bitch out of this, David. We haven't auto done a single load yet, and we're not gonna start now. Look, this is... This is the new Brave New Age. <laughs> you also get less money and less XP for it, too. By doing that. Well, no, I think you get the same amount of money, you just lose experience. But how do you... How did... Which actually, you know which one we need more. <laughs> okay. Am I just going straight? What if I... That direction? No. That direction? Yes! There we go! That is how learning takes place. Am I doing it right? The electrons in his brain begin oh, firing. And David now knows. No, 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 no! no. <laughs> He's kind of doing it. Kinda. All right, cut it and go. Am I done? Is no, it no, you're, no, you're not done. You need oh, to line up with the white square. Stupid non-inverted. I don't think the inversion is your problem. Wait, wait. Yeah, He's there good. Go. Hit the B button. Release. He did it. Did it actually make money? Uh, well, until you had to repair the truck. Yeah, we made a little bit of money. Sweet. Alright. Uh, continue? Yeah, hit continue. Yeah, this, this game takes a little bit of a learning curve. How do I... Really, just get really used to. Right button. Now what? 
Uh, go to the job market. Oh, hang on, how dinged up is the truck? Does it need repairs right now, or? Oh, it needs gas. What is, I can't read, like, my brain, my eyes are not gonna, I can't. Click on that one. Wait a minute, Dustin. You have a sub. Yeah. Why didn't you make her drive you out here? <laughs> the man has a good point. Because <laughs> she's in PA right now. Because she's what? In Pennsylvania visiting family right now. All right. Well, well get her call her, her make her drive here. back from Pennsylvania. Can I, like, pan at all? No, you just, just, the jobs are on, on, the, on the right there. Oh. Well, pick one for me, because I can't read just any of those. Do the top one. Is that not a part of the ritual? Because, like, that could be a thing. Yeah, we're going to go to Austria. Double click on it. Hypothetically, yes, that could be a thing, but no. Now we have to go pick up the cargo. Okay. Hey, I know that this might be a weird request, but would you drive five hours from where you are to grab me, to take me 45 minutes somewhere? What are you doing oh, asking? Pilot yeah, me for about asking? three hours to drive me back. Dustin, you already, you already failed. You're supposed to yeah, tell. You're not a very good dumb. Yeah, you're really not. How am I not? Because I don't make her drive me places? Yes. Yes, you're yes. supposed to order her to do things. Yes. There are certain things you do. That is not one of them. Chauffeur is not in her title. Wait, now they're driving on the different side of the road? What the fuck? Oh, wait, no, I'm just stupid. Why is there a traffic jam? So what he's saying is she's a really bad sub. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is she's not a chauffeur. Only because you don't make her. Yep. That's that's where it's at. Well, I mean, yeah, I can uh, imagine that's like, that reverses the dynamic, because like, you're supposed to be like in charge, be like, hey baby, can you just like drive me somewhere? She's like, <laughs> like that kind of, I could see where that would ruin it. <laughs> that, I do appreciate your offer on that one, David. That would kind of be, uh, I'm a big badass guy, can you please take me to my well, friend's right, house? Right, because you, you put the word asking. Hey, can you pick telling. me up from my parents' house, please? Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Well, yeah, I could, I could do that. Could ruin the fun. I can see that. Yeah. Okay, but where where the dynamic changes is, you need to pound her in the ass while she's driving you there. Now the dynamic is unchanged. So how fast Man, am I going? Because I can't read any of this shit. <laughs> You're going too fast. Bing. Too fast, David. <laughs> Can I get a speeding ticket in this game? I don't know, but too fast. <laughs> How's he going too fast? Look, he's totally rocking this. There's <laughs> nothing that can go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> there's a hard, hard left coming up. Well, there's a, there's a curve right and then a hard left. As long as it doesn't have cargo, the vehicle handles pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, you didn't get fuel yet, did you? No, we didn't. Where do I get fuel? I haven't seen a gas station yet. Okay. Bring up your map. Wait, now we're just going to keep going. If he runs out of gas, we'll get towed. Don't blame me. Oh, we do. But not yet. Man, that tow company is, like, rocking money off of us. Why isn't this, why isn't this like, They're really not, Euro because simulator. you still come out ahead if you tow with cargo. No, 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 like, we're, our, our budget isn't being hurt, but that tow company has had to tow us, what, well, seven times in a month? Speaking of, you ran out of gas. I think it'd be great if you just contracted the tow company. This is really Dustin's company. fault, though. What, this this yeah. one isn't on me. This yeah. is on Dustin. Yeah, no, this is Dustin's fault. All right, you got to agree to that so we can get towed. Oh, really? Really, game? You're going to do it like that? <laughs> Not inverted, okay? No, I mean, like, the background. <sighs> well, it's hard to not... Yeah, you're totally right. Like, I can't have normal conversation because I'm driving a fucking truck. <laughs> That's right. Well, I'm still learning. Which means that burden falls upon Thomas. Now go. Hey, Dustin, when you hit that deer, did you slit its fucking gut open with a bowie knife and then fucking get inside it like loose tauntaun? <laughs> Where did my map go? Dustin! Tauntauns! Dustin! He's dun, dun, dun. He's dead for real. You're, you're, you're walking away from the podcast. This is how it goes. Um, yeah, I had to wash the shrimp off my hands. Hey, where, where's my map, you guys? 
<laughs> that's not a map. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the map. Where am I going? Okay. All right, David. Question. Get on a straight away. Uh, have y'all, do y'all know where a gas station is? Have you located one? No, we, we already, kind of already got to the one. Oh, yeah, we're good. No, no, you need to turn around. Um, you need to get that job. No, you need to get All right, back. David, here's something I haven't told you yet. X is the handbrake. That'll really help slow you down. Okay. Uh, no, we need to find a gas station because you're still almost out of gas. They only gave us a little bit of gas. Yeah. All right, let's... So, like, give it a test every now and again. Like, go really fast, then hit the handbrake. All right, keep driving along the route. There's a gas station along the way. So I got to U it again? Yep. <laughs> Fuck you, medians and sidewalks. So but think about it. We've given the tow company seven grand in the last month. <coughs> <laughs> we've yeah. covered like. <coughs> oh wait, but that's all they got. You what? should go back to that repair place, and we could we should fix our trucks and stuff. Shut shut it down. And fine. I just hit the handbrake because I was. No, no, no. It's it's it just engine malfunctioned. Because I hit the handbrake. No. It's just the vehicle will do engine up function after a while. Yeah. It'll get damaged, and then the vehicle just will fucking cut off on you. But the, the truck is still 75% good. It should be fine. Yeah, it doesn't take much. It'll start doing it at, like, 15. <sighs> I'm just going to keep making you turn. <laughs> so where is the repair place? It's the red wrench on the mini-map. Uh, basically turn it right here. Yeah, whatever, red light. Ding! Uh, you're gonna need to turn right again. Fuck you, car. Oh, man, I just realized what I can do. I'm gonna be like the radio of the truck, and I'm gonna start my own podcast. So we'll have a podcast inside of a podcast. <laughs> Alright, how would that go? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, it starts with me blowing my nose. Is that what that noise was? <laughs> <laughs> then coughing. What am I hitting area? No, what, do I go Welcome there? Is that what I'm going? This is your host, Dustin, playing you all the light hits. Okay, there's a wrench. Now what? That's not a podcast. That's a start for a radio show in which there'll be... Oh, God, Dustin's greatest hits. Turn it off! <laughs> now what? What do I pick? Tell me. Service. Top one? Yeah. So, I was thinking the other day about... Jesus Christ! ...basic needs. Don't... Ah, fuck. And then I recall the doctor... Tell me you're going to go back to death. ...that he had the hepatitis. Uncheck the chassis. Don't repair the chassis. Which... That one? Yeah. That's the most injured one. Yeah, but we can't pay for it. Unclick it. In it. (laughs) Now hit repair at the bottom. You're giving me you're giving me the shitty truck on my first run out. Dustin banging Don't you up, talk bad about the load bringer. Dustin banged the load bringer up twenty. No, why can't I make my own truck? The bringer of load. I didn't bang it up that bad. Yeah, you did. Okay, maybe I did. I don't remember. Man, look at that sweet truck over there. Hey, David, you can't get your own truck because you don't have the money for your own truck. You can't. You just start a new game. No. Then you would have zero dollars. Look, that you have the tools to make your own money. It's called the tow truck. <laughs> Except sometimes the tow truck takes you back away from your marker. You just haven't learned to use the tow company correctly. No, no, it tows you to the nearest garage, unfortunately. And if you're close to your destination, yeah, it puts you in the, you know, same town. However, if you are not so close and you try to use that tow truck, you go an hour back. And then the game costs you an hour. Anyway, so you're like, great, I'm two hours behind now. Wait, should I take it left there? No. No, you're good. Just follow the red, and if it turns green, follow the green. Oh, okay. Why green? Green is like GPS markers telling you for turns and stuff. So green arrows on your mini-map are very important. Speed up, fuckers. Alright, fuck this, David. I'm driving. No! No! 
<laughs> no, that's bad, Tommy. Well, you sit, you drink your Mike's Hard Lemonade. <laughs> Thomas did not gank the, yield, the wheel from his hand while he's driving. Wait until he stops. All right, then change hands. You have now... We've spent 15 minutes talking about driving the truck. So, you can keep driving the truck, but shut up about driving the truck. Once I get started, what happened? See, this is why you shouldn't be driving. Oh, Thomas! What? You know dumb animal stuff, right? I... I guess. I don't you just that. unplugged the controller. No, I didn't. Nothing works. <laughs> Wait, did you unplug the controller? I <laughs> Thomas has like control. <laughs> Thomas, did you hijack the control from him? I unplugged the controller. I think... You dick. I'll believe it was unintentional. <laughs> Dude, he's like a quarter into that beer, so he's hammered right <laughs> yeah. now. Just absolutely smashed. All right, but anyway, so I was trying to think of, like, human beings, what separates us from the rest of the animals? Yeah. Opposable thumbs. Yeah, that's really all I come up with. Well, right, but there's other primates have that, like us, specifically humans. And I was, and the only thing I could come up with was entertainment. No, dolphins do entertaining shit all the time. Like that's what I'm talking about. Like other animals do entertain, look, but, like, the level we go to... So I was curious, was there ever a documented case of literally, you know, like, just animals watching another animal for no other purpose than just to be watching it? Yeah, dogs. I don't, I don't know that defines entertainment. Like, I don't, I don't know that entertainment is simply watching someone else. I saw this picture the other day of a dolphin with his penis in the other dolphin's blowhole. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> Question, were you actively searching for that picture? No. Nope. just have to stumble upon it? Nope, that was just like, no all right, Reddit, WTF link, I'll take the risky click. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it was. You know what? There's a dolphin up in another dolphin blue hole. You know what's a trap? Is when uh, there's like some sort of like not safe for work tag where you think it's sexual stuff and you're like ooh boobies and, and then you click on it it's and like a dead like it's a ha head cut in half well, like no, that, or some shit no I'm talking about where I'm like ooh boobies and I click on it and then it's a penis and I'm like oh <laughs> <laughs> dang it actually did you guys see the uh, the not safe for work porn where uh, like it's a, it's yeah. a cartoon safe for work porn you mean yeah the safe for work yeah, porn yeah the safe for work porn that's what it was sorry that was fantastic that was fucking hilarious why do my lights keep coming? Not talking about driving, just driving, okay. Yes, but like... Hand-drawn... Like lollipop shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what I'm gonna see how fast I can get. Uh, yeah, I, no I noticed that on YouTube, too. It'd be like, oh, look, there's pictures of boobs. You're like, hey, boobs, and then... And then it's boring ass video. There's a gas station. You're gonna have to turn left off of the. Okay. Is this like New Jersey where I can't pump it myself? <laughs> That's a bullshit law, by the way. Fuck New Jersey and Oregon. Wait, why can't you pump it yourself in there? Because they're. Oh, wait, that's an overpass. Shit. <laughs> I mean, there's obviously a law stating it, like, how, what was the purpose? What was the reasoning behind it? So people can have useless fucking jobs. That sounds about right. Okay, then. Like, what? Like, there's no... Like, I can't step out for, like, five feet away from my car to pump gas. No, I mean, that's a dangerous There needs operation. to be a pump jockey. All right, so should I turn right here? You're turning left. Well, because it's a gas station. Just keep going. Yeah, that does sort of seem weird, though. Like, especially, like, if you're out on the New Jersey Turnpike in the middle of winter... Like, you'll tip that person for having stand that... No, stood up. fuck tipping them. I would never tip them. All right, but I tip people for tippable positions, but not if I'm forced to have to do their job. And, but that's kind of what I'm getting at, is you would expect they get a bunch of tips for standing out in the cold-ass weather, but if given the choice, I'd rather just me do that for a few seconds than get back in my warm-ass car. Like, they're cold all day because the law forces them to be. Well, that, and, like, part of tipping is, like, I'm going to tip you well because I might come to this restaurant again... And, you know, because I don't want you to treat me shitty later. Like, that's part of the implicit arrangement behind tipping. Uh, with the gas station, I fuck New Jersey. I'm Like, if I'm in New Jersey, there's something that's gone wrong. And I, like, no. I've got to be in New Jersey next month. Uh, what do you, why do you have to be in New Jersey? i got to go to my cousin's wedding. 
it's gonna be stupid. Yeah. I hate weddings, yeah. man. That's the thing. I love weddings, though. No, this one's weddings really are like fun, free booze, man. Yeah, weddings are the worst. A, it's free food. B, I like dancing. C, it's uh, gonna be like my family that I don't see that often, which gives me an opportunity to be a whole new level of douchebag. C, it's a, like nothing. It's a wedding, and I love photo bombing. Well, see, this is the thing. If it's like, now, granted, it's my family, but anything that it. it if it's a wedding involved with my family, it's the fucking worst because it's it's just awkward and weird. And I don't want to be there, but like if I don't know anyone there, then yeah, I'm just gonna get fucking hammered and then be an asshole. Yeah, that's that's kind of how I'm looking at it. Yeah, like I kind of know my my cousin. Like I know him. I know him. I don't really know of him, and I know my uncle and aunt a little bit. And it's the rich side of my family, so I know the wedding's gonna be pretty bitching. And, yeah, I'm just going to fuck it up. I don't know. I don't like getting hammered in strange company, though. Like, I need to know other people there before I get totally wasted. That's the thing, though. I mean, I'm looking at this like, who who do I really know? Who am I not going to impress? The worst thing that can happen is my mother goes, you embarrass me in front of your uncle. And I go, oh, well. Never see him outside of the family again. David, I'm proud of you. Was uh, if that had been Dustin, that car would have gotten hit. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. actually, you're a pretty good driver. <laughs> I'm a pr- like, I have years of driving experience, you guys. You also have years of wrecking experience. I no getting hit by drunk drivers experience, sir. <clears throat> David, I wasn't there at your accident. I can't say what did or didn't happen. Listen, hey, hang you on, dodged. Hang on, hang on, Dustin. What was that? What? What was that? Did you cough? No. I think you coughed. You cleared your throat. I didn't cough or clear my throat. Let's go back to the videotape. I think you did. How did I, like, cough and clear my throat in the middle of talking? Why did I not interrupt my own words? Talking. Why you cleared your even... throat, and you can't remember it, because you do it so often that it's unconscious for you. But the point is, you're not even here, and you're still doing it. I didn't even clear my throat that time, dude. Ah. Like, maybe it was me rolling in my bed for a moment. Ah. Do whatever you want. Hey, you know what, Thomas? <coughs> <coughs> yes, that was intentional, though. It's not my place. <laughs> it, it is your place, man. I mean, my my throat feels a little bit. Wait, wait. <laughs> <coughs> oh yeah, there we go. So dry. Oh, it's dry. <laughs> I mean, I. I do it intentionally when I know you're bitching about it, but I didn't call for clear my throat that time. Anyway, back to criticizing David's driving. Nah, he's doing pretty good. Like, he saw a car coming in the opposite direction, and rather than try and run around the side, he got back in the lane. And didn't rear in the other guy. <laughs> but totally yeah, he's, did. Yeah, he's actually following the rules of the road slightly more than you. Yeah, but being careful is no fun. But making money is... No, going into debt and then bailing ourselves out of the last second. That was fun. Don't prove us wrong. Don't prove us a car. <laughs> no, man, I got this. So you say that. Slow fuckers. Yeah, the slow fuckers are the ones that get you. Because then you try to go around, and then busy things happen. The problem is slow fuckers are very pervasive on the back country roads. Stay main interstate for as long as Yeah, Europeans can. drive slow. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, stay on the main interstate. Wait, Never take a detour oh, on the side roads. Because those are the ones that will get you. That's where you will wreck the most. There will be a car going a whole 15 miles an hour, and you see nothing. So you go around it, and then you see something, and it hits you. And again, game makes you feel bad by making you... Lose money. Go back to talking about stuff that's not driving. Peoples. Dude, I'm kind of... I'm like halfway through this thing. So I'm like, uh, trucking. Oh man, he's trashed. Yeah. He's gonna like have the worst day <laughs> yeah. over in the morning. I, oh god. <laughs> he's gonna be... Hey guys, so... 
You want to know about one of the creation myths of ancient Egypt? Sure. About how the world started? Did it have to no. do with a giant space vagina? You you cannot guess how fucking nuts this thing is. Did it have to do with two giant space vaginas? Basically, <laughs> to, to make, like, sky and earth or whatever, or whatever the fuck was going on and all you... Because every fucking creation myth is like they're fucking high. But to make... There was, like, one god, and to make everything else... He literally jerked off. <laughs> so we're like gods. I feel like that's a good creation myth because yeah. like, if all there was was you, what would you do? Yeah. Probably jerk off. That's exactly what the because it was a man <laughs> god and there was no females to to make anything else with, so they were like, ah, oh, well, how does he do this? And just jerk it out. No, no, no. What does it actually say, like verbatim? Does it literally uh, go? He grabbed his dick and stuff came out. Um, that's kind of hard to tell, but as as far as I can figure, um, they make it clear that he made progeny with his hand and his penis. <laughs> <laughs> like, specifically, his hand and his penis are referenced. On the first day, God made splooge. <laughs> <laughs> but it's even more explicit than that. He took <laughs> his hand, he took his penis, and he gave the birth. Wait, so he made females with his splooge, and then, in theory, probably had sex with them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they started fucking. The, his offspring fucked. Like, with him? No. We're all just one they, big creationist and say they, pool. They fucked each other. Oh, okay. Um, Dude, in splooge so. fucked his splooge. <laughs> sure. I guess. How would two sperm go at it? But it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't two sperm. Wait, in Europe, is the left hand the slow lane? I don't know. Thought he was going somewhere else with that. <laughs> is someone on the right? Like, because you can't... I don't think they make a distinction in terms of speed. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> I'm like that asshole interstate driver, right? Now. Okay. <laughs> That's my contribution to this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Best worst podcast ever, you guys. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know, like, it was kind of interesting. Hey, Thomas, you hear me clear my throat at the beginning there? Yes, <clears throat> I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> Good. Wait, I'm glad what? you heard what? it. What? Straight? Okay. So, anyway, what is actually interesting is we actually talked about trucking for a while. I, I was impressed. We talked about the game for a whole 20 minutes. Oh, today? Like, now? Yeah, today. Now. Wait. I mean, it was all about your learning curve, but still, we talked about it. But we're not split. We actually really did let's play stuff. Talking. And then Thomas ruined it with Egyptian God Jerk Off. That is fucked up, though. Like, was this, like, ancient Egyptians? or Dude, like? that's how most god lore is. They do something weird, like they shout out well, a whole bunch of stuff, and then that's bam, just, That's people. just one of the ancient Egyptians. Hey, you guys, what's going on with Egypt? That's kind of fucked up. There, there's a gas station up ahead. Okay, but seriously, Egypt, get your shit together. What's going on? Well, used to be cool and have pyramids and shit, and they're all like, yay Islam or something. I don't even know what the fuck's going on. Left, 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 well, left. Well, okay. well, seriously, weren't, like, a bunch of Christians murdered there or something recently? No. What do I do? Uh, I think it's the A button. Wait, what is their religion now? Like, I wouldn't know. I think they're Muslim. So nobody believes the crazy pyramid stuff anymore? Uh. No. People haven't. That, that's been gone for like a couple thousand years now. Sort of what gets me, like, well, one of the we things good? that gets me about, like, religion. Like, you've seen examples. You are aware of other examples of where there was a religion and then there stopped being that religion. What makes the current religions better? Because my God's right. They're dumb, stupid idiot. Well, that, that's... Who would ever... Like, Zeus. Come on. Those guys are idiots. This what was kind of interesting about ancient Egyptian religions is because they didn't have that attitude. Uh, like, that creation myth I just said... That was just one of the creation myths that existed in ancient Egypt. That, like, there was... This was, like, one city's creation myth. And then different cities had different creation myths. 
And none, they didn't really seem to fight with each other. Oh, tell me it was like story one-upping. Where it was just like, man, their creation myth is cooler than ours is. We need something crazier. <laughs> um... And then, like, you know, the, the, the village storyteller was sitting there doing this one day, you know, just <laughs> just waxing it. He was like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I know what a good story is. Uh, and they would, like, take other people's gods and, like, make them part of their religion. Yeah. Or just, like, they could coexist with their religion. It, like, they didn't have... There, were, there was, like, a 16-year period where Akhenaten tried to make uh, Aten the, like, one god. And then that didn't really work out really well. Man, that sucked. Did he, like, try and stamp out people, or did he just, like, try and spread the religion, and it didn't work out? Uh, he tried to spread his own religion, but he also uh, defaced other gods' stuff. He, he would... And, like, any references to gods, he would change it to God. Uh, <coughs> did that not piss people off, or were they just... Well, it did of... piss people off, because then, after he was gone, because Tutankhamun... Um, was his successor, and I think he was supposed to be his son. And even right at he, even his son started making the change back to normal Egyptian religion. And he didn't and, start. He made it pretty damn quick. Yeah, and then he totally died, like his kid. Well, yeah, and then he died. But basically, uh, he, he they hated him so much that they wouldn't even say his name, Akhenaten. <laughs> So, and they just, because he went and founded a new city that was supposed to be the capital of Egypt or whatever, they completely abandoned that city. <laughs> uh, they, like, scratched out any reference to him. So, yeah, it, it pissed people off. Nope, you die nameless now. <laughs> There's going to be some jackass on a pile of corpses. Uh, that kind of happened. The, um, the, we, I think we have a mummy that we think is Akhenaten, but it was found with a bunch of other mummies, and it wasn't marked or anything. Like, there, we didn't find it... We think it was moved from its original... From what it was originally buried in. So, that is kind of what happened. That crap's kind of weird, though, that people just went around like, alright, we're gonna steal it, like... Well, I couldn't see being that up in arms where I'm like, alright, I hated this guy, but now that he's dead, I'm gonna go get his body. Uh, well, it may not have been looters that moved his body. It may have been, uh people that were in charge of protecting the royal mummies may have moved it. Because uh, there were mummies that were like that that were re-wrapped and everything and moved to different areas because for some reason you're going the wrong way. Oh, dude, what happened to a uh, guy that was buried in <laughs> Doswell? I don't know what you're talking about. The oh, tree. <laughs> the, the Boston bombings? The race bombings? Right. Alright, well, apparently that dude ended up, though, the one that they killed ended up getting buried in Doswell, and everybody was pissed off about it. Yeah. And, that, like, that made the news, but I never heard what actually ended up happening to the body. I was just curious. What, what do you mean? Uh, as far as I know, they buried it. Buried there. Fuck? Well, no, like, they, so they never, they just buried it, and, like, people not... were pissed off, and then they just left it? I guess. Alright. Alright, where am I wrong here? The map says go straight. There's no straight. The other side of the road. The map says go right. See which way the arrow is pointing? But... But, okay. See, there you go. Okay. I see. I'm dumb. <laughs> I well, on the other side of the road. For years. Dustin, you shut up. You mm, shut up. I'm dead. I mean, come on. What, what are you going to do to me? I'm dead. Well... Shit. David, you ruined mummy talk. We were having mummy time. What does your mom have to do with this conversation? Hey, hey, hey. Why, why was little mummy sad? Because he missed his Alright, you're really dusting this up here. <laughs> I'm gonna need to... It's raining, I can't handle it. Okay, fine, I'll be good. Have you even started the next job? No, because it's like all the yeah, way... Yeah, no, we're just driving to get the cargo. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Looks like rough times for the crew of the load bringer. <laughs> I'm renaming this truck. No, no, you're not. It's the bringer of loads now. No, it's really not. See, David, there's actually no name to place. It's just what you want it to be. What? No, truck. 
This is because it is the load bringer <laughs> three to one. No, this is because you kept hitting people. <laughs> That's a bad. David, has your real life driving record caught up with you? I haven't had a wreck in years. <laughs> you haven't had a car in years. But even like when I had a car. Are we there? You're close. Yeah, you're close. Fuckers. Again, David, I, I was never there. I didn't. I wasn't there for the court cough or to hear what was said. I know we got most of them got settled out. What the shit is that? Take a right. It's an invisible wall. You're supposed to go right. But they're pointing in different directions. Because so <laughs> the wall is telling you go any way but this way. You can't go this way. That wall is. But BS. why would they? Because they didn't want to design past that wall. Oh man. Quit hitting things, David. That's my job. Is this correct direction? Now you have to go through the left. Is. Yeah. Wait, we've been here before, haven't we? No, all these places just look the same. Okay. <laughs> I know I've seen that overpass before. Oh shit! 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 shit, shit, shit. Room. Now what? Uh, yeah, yeah. Aaron, take the job. Yeah, you need to find the trailer. There there should be a trailer here, and then you hook up what? to it. Did he already accept the job, though? Yeah, keep going. Yeah, you have okay. to accept the job. My, my bad. I don't know what I'm talking about. Or, or do you have to select the job? I don't know. No, no, did you only GPS mark it? Because then you have to pull into the truck yard, pick up the job itself, and then grab the trailer. Was I supposed to... When I went over that green thingy, was I supposed to do something... Yes, you stop the truck. God damn it, guys! The job. Don't say you guys. Two of us told you to do that. Thomas <laughs> is the one that fucked it up. Seriously. Shut up. This is like really hard not being there. I don't. I don't know what. I'm visually lacking. This is terrible. I'm kind of proud that I did not fuck that up. Yeah, right it there. does sort of lead to this disjointedness. You're, you're hey. not really a part of the group. You're not really. I'm not. I'm just some kind of disembodied voice who's picking up context cues based right. on what y'all are saying. What do I do? do the top one. Hit take you. Yeah. It's pretty awkward. Now what? Now go get the trail. Well, why'd Keep you have to go more. and die, Dustin? Dustin, you really. I mean, I hope they come up with a miracle, miracle cure by next week. Actually, <laughs> wait. He didn't have to have his sub drive him. He just had to have her come down there and change out the headlights. This is true. <laughs> Wait, is that all you're missing? Where? It, yeah, head I no no no. It smashed up the uh, left side of the grill that pretty bad. That yeah. even, I couldn't even install a new headlight without replacing some of the bodywork around it. But effectively, it's headlights. Yeah, effectively, the legal thing is no headlights on my left side, which makes me not want to travel long distances at night. That's the wrong trailer, David. What? That's the wrong trailer. Especially because you had both headlights and you still hit that deer. Imagine Where's what would right happen trailer? with one. I know. The carnage. Wait, I can have like a top view? Oh, fuck you. No, no, no. Don't give him that. You leave him in first person. Can you move the camera around? No. Get wait. back in the cab, you. No, no, wait. Give him that really awkward uh, cinematic view. <laughs> Where the hell is the trailer? Well, that has to be. It's, it's over there. Where? It's just a little bit on the side. If you look to the right... See? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> it was hidden by the other trailer. Because <laughs> I saw it, I saw something glowing. Your engine malfunction. You gotta keep backing up. I'm trying. Alright, now we're done. We'll pass that. What? No. Wow, I'm actually getting better at this. There was a moment, now that moment's gone. No, no, no. I changed up the song. Too sharp. You don't have your radio station anymore. No, I'm the ghost. 
I am the ghost of the truck, and I can do whatever radio station I want. All right, fine. Take the truck, go backwards. That's right. Oh, oh God, boy. Hanson, yeah, all Hanson Station. I don't need to do anything like check it out, do I? Did you really have to think that long to remember that that was Hanson? Dude, I forgot that was Hanson. I couldn't even remember who the hell that was. I was like, Backstreet? No. NSYNC? No. Who the fuck was that? That's right, and stopped for the red light. <laughs> <laughs> so does anybody find it weird that the Backstreet's back song is still like... Is it back? No, but like, I don't think it ever left. Yeah, it never leaves. Like it. it yeah, I don't know it's why. It's weirdly popular. Of all the pop songs, I don't know why I'm surprised. Because like I hear Britney Spears still, and I'm not surprised that's still around. Whoa, what's with these European? Like, why did it turn yellow for turn green? I don't know. That's just how those lights work. Man, Euros are crazy. Is it because it references the band and like just <laughs> maybe maybe it's that iconic? What's going on, shitty truck? <laughs> All right, you're going to need to take wider turns. Yeah, he turned way this too sharp. This is a sharp. truck with a load oh, attached Jesus, to it, Jesus which you're going to have to bring somewhere. I'm totally on the wrong side of the road, right? You'll be fine. Now weave in. David, don't wreck my truck. I think it's a little late for that. You know, well, I, I still I still say I'm I do. far better than And how is it your truck? It's collectively the group's truck. Belongs to the podcast. I hear what you're saying, Scotty, but the primary driver is me, therefore I feel a very strong attachment to the truck. Is that why you wreck it all the time? <laughs> yes. Yes. Dustin, I'm going to actually make money on this trip. You think about that. <laughs> I make money on every trip. Oh, man, those are big words. <laughs> Wait, how do you, How did we get $100,000 in debt? Because I made all that money, and then I spent it upgrading the truck, to which then I spent it repairing the truck. Now, you smashed it to fuck. That's what you happened. know, you still never even fix the chassis on the... Uh, but you can't buy stuff into debt. You have to wreck into debt. Yeah, I bought all the upgrades first. And then, and then you wrecked like it into debt. Ten grand, and then I wrecked the fuck out of the truck. All right, so how's that not validating everything I said about me being... I never said it didn't validate ever. everything you said. David just said that he's going to make money. I said, I make money all the time. See, I, made a no, I mean a profit, not a <laughs> revenue. <laughs> 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 Say that after you've uh, repaired the vehicle, David. I already had to repair it from all your things. And, and the chassis. Yeah, because we can Everything. afford that. Because you Why do you say it chassis? Because it's the chassis. It's not the chassis. It's the fun chassis. to say chassis and piss you off. The chassis. The, the, the chassis. Goddamn engine malfunction. <laughs> <laughs> It just shuts off every once in a while because it's a dick. Because you didn't repair the vehicle. You left me with the shitty truck, though. Yeah, there's there's a lot of red on that truck. Really? <laughs> <And> guess what? <laughs> it's not all me. But I love how it was going fine until you attached the trailer. And now life is bad. I mean, I guess that would put more stress maybe, on the engine. Maybe I'm supposed to, like, slowly accelerate? I don't know. Yes, you know, use actual driving technique. I don't know. I've never played this game. Nah, just stop on the gas. It'll be fine. You've been playing this game for, like, I ever still now. don't really have, like, a firm grasp of the controls. I just go right trigger go, left trigger stop, left stick, avoid things. I think that's yeah, the controls. I don't have the nuances of how simulation. The nuances is. don't wreck and drive slow, but not too slow. Well, gotta go pick up my old lady in Vienna. Derp, derp, derp. <laughs> you know, we're going to Austria. Are we? I believe so. So are we leaving from Austria? I think we're going to Austria. All right. But Thomas, you know, give us Snapple facts about Austria. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know Austria is uh, like that's where the neo Nazis are. Austria? That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, like that. Cause so are Austrians like super hardcore Germans? Uh, like they have people in their government that are basically, well, okay, not basically neo-Nazis, but married to neo-Nazis. And... Aktion Blitzkrieg! 
They're not immediately kicked out of office. Okay. Uh, they have way more of a far right problem than Germany does. Because people make jokes about Germany and everything, but it's not Germany we should look at. It's Austria. Who's Austria to conquer? Push all Germany. Um, yeah, like almost all Europe. Because Hitler. Push all. <laughs> Yeah, Austria. <laughs> Austria is where Germany's like, already done a pretty good job of conquering Europe. They just don't realize it. But I feel like that would work out like poorly this time because like World War, World War Two, everybody's like, let's not get involved, let's not get involved. Oh, fuck it, fine, we'll get involved. This <laughs> time, if somebody's like, hey, we're the Nazis this time, I feel like everybody else be like, it's our chance. We're gonna call it World War Three. It's just gonna be a, like one big massacre. No, because, like, the Germans, from what I little understand of, like, Europe, it's basically like, all right, well, then our economy is just going to rape the rest of everybody else. What? Because <laughs> they're just, like, fucking over Greece, fucking over Italy. I don't know if they're fucking them over. No, I know nothing not, about it. No, they're really. not fucking them over. It's just those countries are going to shit because yeah. they, didn't, they didn't manage their shit well, and then Germany's just like, well, we ain't bailing you out, dude. <laughs> I mean, like in Greece, um, like people didn't pay their taxes because it was very easy to avoid paying taxes. Now your country's fucked. Should have paid your taxes. Didn't Spain fuck too? I don't know, man. Spain's one of those countries that you never hear about. Yeah, but like, from what I understand, they're totally like, fucked. Like Spain, Spain, like Spain is a huge part of Europe, and nothing ever happens there, as far as I can tell. Like, post-18th century or so, Spain has been completely irrelevant. They make food, they make wine, and that's about it. That I sounds like a really cool place to live, though. Yeah. No, it's horrible, because they have, like, ridiculously high unemployment. And I heard that they have, like, they had, like, riots or something recently, but the news wasn't ever reporting it. Do I just never see anything, like, is the, is, is the media reporting about Spain? I just never see it? I don't How know. How do you know about their unemployment? Because internet news. But this is what I'm saying. I've never seen anything about Spain. Occasionally they have some bulls. That's all I know. Portugal is the same way. Like, Portugal's like the Spain of Spain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because uh, there was like some fucking... There was some dude that killed some people or something. Or was like a kid toucher. I don't know. But we wanted him real bad. And he was like from the 60s. And then we found him in Portugal. And I was like... Oh shit! Portugal still exists. What's that? Like Central America? <laughs> like you yeah. know, the only times I remember Portugal exists is when I remember. Oh yeah, they speak Portuguese. In you, Brazil. you do got to give him credit for the hiding spot, though. Like nobody's like, oh man, he's going to Portugal. Yeah, yeah. You can't pick a better country than Portugal. Because they checked out even earlier than Spain. They're they're like fucking seventeenth century Portugal. Doesn't Why the matter fuck anymore. does Portugal exist even? Like I don't know. I, like I'm saying. For hundreds of years, I have not known what has gone on with Portugal. You ever feel like maybe there's like that whole like there's a whole bunch of different political stuff going on between Portugal and Spain, which is why they don't like come together. Like, nah, we're happy being our own country. Just inertia. I don't know, man. Uh, you know, Spain didn't even do anything in World War Two. Like everybody did something in World War Two. Nothing happened in Spain. Well, they had, they had some war. Well, okay. That was you know apparently what? really totally brutal. That was like pre World War Two, but yeah, that's totally related to World War Two. But that wasn't that wasn't even really Spain. That was external forces fighting it out in Spain. You I know? know nothing about the Spanish Civil War except that well, Pan's Labyrinth was a movie. About basically, it. It, w it was financed by wow. Car. Dustin, you left me with the shittiest truck Actually, ever. Uh, isn't a lot of their beachfront like way up high on cliffs and not really like? I don't know. I'm, here, ask me anything about Spain. Hey, what do you know, know about Spain, Thomas? I don't know. Hey, Barcelona has some pretty rich in architecture. It does it? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it totally does. I don't know anything about Spain. Like gaudy or something. Like. Uh, here's what I know about Spain. Uh, they fight bulls. Yes, there's the bulls. But also, my dad was friends with some people that were real, like this couple that were real fucking old when I was a kid. Like, they were ancient when I was a kid, so they're probably dead now. But, uh, there was this dude that had flown, uh, that had flown in a bomber in World War II, and they had... Ah! God damn it, Dustin. 
<laughs> I didn't know if that would work or not. I mean, Obviously it did. They had to put down the bomber in Spain, so then he was held as a he he was held in Spain for the rest of the war because Spain was neutral. So they're like, well, we can't really let you go. Um, would that be really sweet or really crappy? I, I would assume being a prisoner kind of sucks universally. But well, you're but you're not really a prisoner. Like you're you're more of a like you're not in prison because you're the enemy. You're in prison just because they don't want to let you to go more. Kill I more don't people. even know that he, that, that he was in prison. It was just like, hey, we can't let you take off again. You're like, okay. You've been captured by the Spanish. Here's your five star hotel, your nightly concubines, and three square meals a day of your choosing. Well, wait, didn't we have that issue with like some of the Guantanamo prisoners? Like we didn't have a place to put them, so they got put up at like a hotel. Well, no, the Guantanamo like prisoners are like, well, this is all totally illegal. Let's just shove them in Cuba. That's Guantanamo. <laughs> I mean, it's legal because it's the U.S. and we're just going to do it. But yeah, and there's the thing where we're like, we aren't doing it, but then we've actually paid foreign agents to do it. Blackwater is doing it, or whatever the fuck they're calling themselves now. Because like we have, I'm trying to remember. There was some. There's some Eastern European country where we have like CIA, CIA torture headquarters, basically. Where it's like, when we want to torture somebody, you know, don't do it in the U.S. because that's bad. We'll just put them in Eastern Europe and we'll torture them there. Yeah. I find it weird that, like, you can find your, like, moral justification. Not even moral. You can just find justifications for, like, the most evil shit over technicalities. Yeah, I mean, that's how it's always worked. Whatever helps people sleep at night, I guess. What? No. <laughs> that is not the direction I pointed. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. That is not the direction I pointed. <laughs> All right, external view, go. <laughs> I drink and drive. Woof. <laughs> Why do you always crash at night when we can barely see it? <laughs> we can wait till daytime. <laughs> no, I think we need to get towed. It's the best chance for How is the tow it. truck even gonna get us? It'll get you. <laughs> I think the tow truck is just the game going, fuck it. Dustin, there is an off ramp, <laughs> and rather than follow the off ramp, he rolled up onto the hill <laughs> so that he smacked the truck into the concrete of the <laughs> overpass. Wait, I'm falling. <laughs> I'm pipping. And he's now stuck. Wait, Between the hill and the guardrail. He might rail. be fixing it. <laughs> oh, it's <made> malfunction. <laughs> no. no. Uh, are, are, are we going to... You know what? You know what? David is such a superior driver. We should just keep using him. You know Thomas, what? Thomas, Thomas, call the tow truck. The truck isn't that damaged, though. No. No. Come on. Wait. I got this. I got this. I still got this. You're only going to damage the truck more. No. I got this. Shut this up. It could only get worse for Shut you. Shut up. I have this. <laughs> Nothing could possibly go wrong. Got to rock it back and forth. <laughs> Cause it's oh, cool. God damn it. truck. Yeah. Sixty <laughs> percent. Oh God. What sixty percent damage to your truck? So three percent damage to the cargo. The cargo will be fine. It's time to get towed, David. Fine. You gotta hit the yes button. The yes button. <laughs> yeah, what's the repair bill on this one? <sighs> Shut up. No, no, no. You talk the big game. You don't get to say "shut up." Shut up. Yeah, you kind of did. You set yourself up for failure. Yeah, no, no, no. You, you get to eat this you should one. Probably David. repair the truck. Um. Cart no, no, stop, stop, stop. With what money? We need to go into debt. If the truck just keeps shutting off. No, because I was turning, and it totally turned way more than Sur it should have. It. Actually, yep. if it's $60,000 or less, you'll probably be fine. Oh, it's the chassis still that is fucking me? Yeah. <laughs> what a shock. <laughs> and everything else is Just broken. repair all. Yeah, repair all. You've got all. enough money when you complete the job. Just don't flip the truck. Just roll with over. it. Just fucking roll with it. Can yeah, you flip the truck? That'd be awesome. Yeah, we can. We have flipped the truck before. Man. Oh, oh okay. I don't feel bad Wrecking now. the truck in this game is far cheaper than in real life. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, right. when we originally it's hitting other people with your truck is way right. cheaper than somebody, real life. Hey, somebody give me that map back, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of important. Wait, where's the? Oh, there it is. Oh crap! You still got to go places. We have twenty six yeah, hours. It doesn't teleport you to the destination. He still has to drive. No, this was supposed to be tow truck simulator. Dude, that'd be an awesome game where you just like tow people from their parking lots and they get yelled at you and they let you and they like bust out the shotgun and you gotta drive away. Wait, you can bust out the shotgun after a while and that Yeah, and then we have a cover to cover shotgun battle. Yes. Wait, didn't we talk? Ooh, and then you have to like defend yourself in court and you put turns in the ace attorney all over. What's why did it just do the checkout sound? Because you, gotta, you just hit that car. Yeah. Oh, I didn't feel you it. You bumped the white car with your trailer. Oh. Okay. Why are your wipers on? Why would it was they? raining earlier? What? Well, sun's coming Thank up. Thank you, David, for continuing. Did you just turn off the headlights? Dead. It's gonna be a brand new day. Oh, I turned off. <laughs> hey, stop that! Brand new day of trucking. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> the fucking overpasses. Hey, Dustin, I'm turning on his. I'm turning off his headlights and turning on his windshield wiper and stopping the car. Apparently, wait, wait, hit his parking brake. He he hit his own parking brake. Oh. Stupid D pad. Then rapidly change his view so he's not sure where he's going. In fact, make him drive cinematic for a while. I'm trying to find it. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drive that for a while. Oh, you know the fun part is, David? After the cat, the truck passes the camera angle at a certain point, the controls shift. It, like, goes from inverted to non-inverted to inverted. <laughs> It'll keep randomizing on you. So go fuck yourself on a turn. I'm going to tell you that now. You know what? you got to be careful. This isn't, this isn't doing a pass cam. It's always just following him. All right, there we go. Yeah, look <laughs> at that cinematic angle. <laughs> and again. <laughs> Wait. All right, so I get the where it starts at the front and then goes to the back, but you notice like when it gets to the back, it it like goes farther back for a bit and then that's not doing it now. No, no idea what you're talking about. All right, well it was doing. Haven't it wrecked yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! In time, David. Oh, it's just a matter of time. time. That's all oh, we gotta turn. What? <laughs> Wrong way of fence. Ah, uh, there's that car <laughs> that you swiped. There's no way of knowing which way we're going. Oh no, David, I think the danger's Is growing. <laughs> I like that you know that song well enough that you can quote it. Or not song, but like that part of that movie. That was a really awesome part of the movie. Yeah, what movie well, I, is that? Like, Happy Go Lucky Willy Wonka, and all of a sudden it's, hey kids, you're all going to get raped on this boat. Yeah, it's from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, okay. Why'd you have to change the angle so I can't tell if it's elevated there? Okay. That was totally worth it. Where are it. you going? You said I missed a turn. No, I didn't. You are going the wrong way, yeah, sir. Now you're going the wrong way. I hate you guys. <laughs> you know, we're going back to Austria. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you were supposed to go to Austria. Austria. Wait, now we're going back. Where were we? England. Which way is the thing pointing? We're supposed to go the other way. You just said I no, I didn't. Turn. No, I didn't. You guys are dicks. No one said that. Are you dude. looking at the map, dude? Hey, David. You just look at your trailer and drive the truck by itself. Why are you going the you wrong way? You just said I missed the turn. No one said that. Yes, you did. No. No, you 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 go back to the tape. When you listen to this later and realize how much of a jerk one of us are. David, we all know I'm the only one that's going to go back to the tape. So, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, yes, that's what I said. Fuck you. <laughs> you fucking dick. It's not his fault, he's right. Wait, so you're just lying to make me feel bad? <laughs> no, Dude, nobody no one would do said that. you took a wrong turn. You totally made that up. I don't know where you're getting that from. Is there a car directly behind me? I think you got the truck stuck. Oh, nice. <laughs> There's several cars. Quote, unquote. No, I think here. he got stuck, because Dustin got stuck here before, in the, off the side of the road. Well, yeah, because he's turning into his own trailer. He needs to... It's because there's a goddamn car right there. No, you need to turn your truck more towards the wall, and then back I know what I'm problem. trying to do. There we go. It's... Yeah, you need to turn out the Can truck. I get out of the car and just shoot that guy? 
right. Pull forward. I can't pull anywhere. There's a ditch. He's stuck in the ditch. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> but at you least know, you know. you're now going back to that same showing station. Right? Now to get towed again. Da -da -da, da -da. <laughs> I hope y'all didn't take time sensitive cargo. Well, is, is it that time? It's that time. Wait, can I pick the name of the episode? Okay. Trucks and Mummies. Okay. I'll awesome. totally do that. Meh. Hey, Dustin, make the fart noise. All right. See, his fart noise is always too wet. It's not, like, concise enough. There we go. That was far better. <laughs>